Hello friends, welcome to the Simon Says Stamp November 2022 card kit. I had to stop and think for a second. <laughs> this is the November kit. So this is my unboxing and we'll just see what's in it. It just got here, I'm super excited. I've, I've seen some, some little blurbs already, because of course, um, the designers in the States get theirs ahead of me. So this is the full of thanks card kit. And disclaimer as always, um, I'm on the Simon design team. These kits get sent to me. I don't have to do like these unboxings and all that, but I just enjoy doing them. And let's just dive in and see what's in the kit here. So this is the full of thanks card kit. It does come with its mesh bag. I am loving the mesh bags. One, you can keep, you know, all your kit contents in the bag. Great for organizing. Um, I'm planning on, I've got, because I've got a ton of them now, um, having some for my kids, for them to put like crafty projects, different things, you know, inside these bags, because they're just sturdy. You know, I need to put some of these in my kitchen. Anyway, and a couple in my vehicle too. These will be good just hauling things around. You know what I mean? So anyway, you get the mesh bag. You get some, some candy. Always, always nice to have. And then we've got um, many different, many different items in here. This, this is a fun kit. So let's do the stamp set first because the other items kind of like coordinate around this set. So you've got this big full of thanks six by eight stamp set. Love it. I don't know. I, I love like fall images, anything thank you themed because that's the most type of card I make is thank you cards. So I'm always like, yes. Um, Thanksgiving for, um, well for anyone, us Canadians celebrated Thanksgiving earlier in October. Ours is in October in the States. It's in November. But yeah, you got all these images. You've got this pretty like frame image and they're just gorgeous. There is a coordinating wafer die set available. It's sold separately. I'll have a link to that. So in the kit you get the stamp set. There's a coordinating um, stencil set, which I was like, oh yes. Yes. So there's all the different little elements and they are separated with little like etch lines. At first I was like, oh no, is my stencil broken? No, there's little etch lines in here. So there's different stencil areas for different images. So you've got all of them on these stencils. And yeah, they're separated by little, little wavy etch lines. So you know like, okay, this goes like here. Yeah, ha, I was right, you know? So you can do all your stenciling and not have to actually color, but I'm also looking forward to just coloring these. So I like the options. So this I'll be keeping the stencil like with the stamp set. So you have the stamp set and the stencil set. And then you get a pair of Simon's new, the fine detail scissors. Can never have too many scissors in my opinion. So you get scissors. You also get Simon's very, very low tack tape. This stuff is super low tack. This I've been liking for like, here's my roll that I have been going through. It's the same stuff. It is very low tack because more often like a lot of tapes, um, you need to like put it on your arm, on your clothing to remove a lot of that extra stick, especially when die cutting because the pressure, no matter how low tack a tape is, generally, the pressure from the machine when you run it through your die cut machine, it'll like fuse some tapes like to your cardstock and then it's tearing and it's not a good time. This stuff, this was kind of the answer to that. It's super low tack. So you can also use it to hold foils in place when hot foiling, hold your stencils, all those things. You get that to try out, love. And this was the other, this is what I was excited about. So we've got like the stamp set, got your scissors, low tack tape. And then I was really excited to see these. So that's I'm gonna open these up. You get a package of Simon Says Stamp Adhesive Transfers. 
So we've got these Simon Says Stamp Adhesive Transfers. This is a Grateful Fall Leaves. And they just kind of look like this. And then I, normally I'm very, I'm actually glad the kit came to me a little later. I've already seen, again, like some blurbs, there have already been some videos. And seeing the other designers like actually use these, I was like, oh. Because it, like, there's directions on here too. But I'm a visual learner. This is why I do videos, because this is how I learn. <laughs> but yeah, the cool thing with these is you use your scissors and you can cut them out. And then you can put them onto your cardstock. And um, you can use your laminator. I'm going to use my little mini mink machine. And then after you've applied it, because it's an ad adhesive transfer, after you've applied it, that's what I assume is in this little, this little package right here. It's all sealed up to keep everything pristine gonna be some beautiful yes foil oh all these gorgeous pieces of transfer foil so there are you'll get a pack I'm not exactly sure yeah it's an autumnal mix of foil sheets and again, since I am on the Simon team, I'm not 100% certain like how many you'll get in your kit. I assume I might have got some extras because, you know, maybe they just knew. It's like, Amy's going to mess this up, so let's send her extras. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, these gorgeous foils. Just autumnal colors. They're beautiful. So these you would also trim out. And you'd stick them on top and run them through. And I'm obviously going to have to make a card in this video using these. I'm kind of excited to play. Oh, the colors are just beautiful. Beautiful. So this is all made by Decofoil. And they do gorgeous stuff. So this is not the same as, like, the Glimmer Hot Foil with the plates and everything else. This is the type of foil you can use for, like, I kind of assume you can use this for toner printed things as well but don't quote me but they definitely work with these you can do like little leaves you can even do your sentiments like so pretty yeah how fun is this this is just fun so you also get envelopes there's a slimline envelope and an A2 envelope and then some fabulous Simon cardstock in gorgeous fall colors. Love. Love. So, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to make. There's just options. But, as always, there will be continuation of this video and I'll make um, some cards. But before I get to that, as always, I will have a link below the video. I'll link to the kit. I'll link to the subscription info. Because as always, as always with Simon's kits, you can just purchase it one and done. Like just purchase a kit, be done with it. Or you can do the monthly subscription. With the monthly subscription, um, they invoice you each month and you can choose whether or not, like so you're not locked in. Like you don't have to pay every single month whether you like it or not. They invoice you so there's all and that info again it'll be linked you can check it out and then I'll link to everything that's available individually I'll link to the coordinating wafer die set all that kind of stuff so you can check that out below and then yeah stay tuned and we'll see we'll see what I make so like I said I went with the foil <laughs> I was just itching to see if I could make this work so I took the green apple cardstock from the kit and I cut this down to seven and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And I pulled out a piece of Simon's smooth white cardstock and I cut a panel down to three and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches, just slightly smaller than what the card front will be. So it'll be matted nicely by the card front. So I've got my cardstock and then I have this um, sheet of the leaves and sentiments with these adhesive transfers. You can also get 
a pack of these separately. As of me doing this voiceover, I think they're sold out. Probably because they've been super popular. Um, but yeah, I'm... I, I assume they'll restock ASAP. And because I was like, oh, I would like to order a few extras myself. <laughs> Especially since I have a ton of extra foil to use with them. Plus I have a basket of deco foil. Ugh. I collect the stuff. Anyway, anyway. So I cut all the leaves apart so they're individual and I, th I thought I might need to use like the the low tack tape with this you don't need it um, because once you peel the backing off there it exposes the little sticky bit so you press it down and then for this I am using my mink um, I'd added a note to this though you do not need to have um, a mink or a laminator to make these work you can use your die cut machine and you would just run it through like you would with wafer dies and the pressure of that die cut machine will press the adhesive transfer into your cardstock and I think Sherry Carroll showed that in the video for Simon's unboxing the kit I think but it, it anyway same idea so I just use my mink because I got it and it's been sitting here and pretty much any excuse to pull it out and use it so why not so ran that through and then you just peel this off and I'm, you know, I tilt it in light so you guys can see. So the adhesive is like transferred and it's perfect and pristine. And then I used the, the piece with the image on it as my guide to trim out one of the colors of foil. And then you press that on and then I just run it through again. And I could say this a million times and I'm, I'm not kidding. If I can do this anyone can do this <laughs> especially as this was my first try I'm like I'm like so proud of myself because when it comes to this type of foiling oh, this is why you guys don't see videos of me doing this because I just struggle it just things just don't work for me and if I start getting frustrated then it's not fun no more and I'm not gonna do it you know but this just so I ran it through and this is you know this is my first one I peel this off and I was like yes <laughs> It was perfect. You know, I didn't miss it. And there was no like skippy bits or anything. It's like, it just, it foiled like a dream. I was like, okay, now let's, let's layer this up and see what's going to happen here. So that's what I did. So I added my second piece and I'm going to stick it in my little carrier folder here and then run this through my mink. Um, one thing to note, this doesn't bother me at all, but with this type of foil and um you know the adhesive and all these things when you run it through a second time like you know that first leaf it's been foiled so after you run it through the heat and the, the rollers and all that things it does change it slightly it's not as smooth and reflective and it's subtle maybe some people won't even notice i noticed just because I noticed these things and it didn't bother me. I just, I noticed and it was like, oh, huh, that's interesting. But I honestly actually kind of liked the fact that it almost gave it not quite a satin finish, just, yeah, a little bit more roughed up probably in it also because I have parchment paper in my little carrier sheet as well. I, I technically don't need to have that there, but you know, my parchment paper, I've used it a million times. So it's got a bit of texture to it. So I'm assuming as well, the, the machine is like pressing that well, it is. It's pressing that into these foiled images. So it's giving it that little bit of texture. But I was I was going for it. I was feeling this. So the other thing to note when adding layers like this. So, you know, I did my first leaf, the foil. Second leaf, the foil. When you're adding these little adhesive transfers on top of an already foiled image, just kind of pay attention. I would kind of wave my cardstock just to cool it down because the mink does get quite hot. And I do have it on the hottest setting. Um, but when peeling away the the carrier sheet you know from the heat transfer just pay attention I noticed because it almost wanted to kind of pull away from the foil so I still didn't have any problems just thought I'd mention that so I just kept going along adding my little like adding a leaf run it through my machine um and then cutting down a different color of the foil pressing that on running it through my machine so that I've got this little you know cluster of these leaves on this panel of white cardstock and again it was just such a smooth experience <laughs> 
really. Like, this has come from the person who just, I just, mm, I, I, my huge basket of foil, you know, my mink machine collects dust. I just don't use it, you know, and it bugs me because I love foil. My, my inner magpie, I just, I love it. Like, I finally figured out, you know, the whole glimmer hot foil thing. And you guys are seeing me do more foil with that. But this type of foiling I have struggled with. But these little adhesive transfers and everything, loved it. So I did four leaves on that panel. The sentiment I'm doing on, I just decided to do it separately. I was going to do it on the panel as well. But then I was like, hmm, if I do this on a separate piece and I could pop that up. Plus, I was just curious to see how it would look on the orange cardstock. So same whole process. Peeled off the backing, stuck it to the cardstock, ran that through my mink. I'll cut down a piece of the foil. I will foil the sentiment. And as I was doing this, I was like, oh, how fun would it be to have like, just like packages of sentiments. I could see myself doing that a lot because you could like, it just, it foiled so perfectly. This wasn't like other times, you know, I've tried with Simon's, um, sentiment strip packs because those technically can be foiled because they are toner printed but those again I've had difficulty with those like my you know and just me and that just don't work proper you know what I mean so I just use sentiment strips as is because I love those sentiment strips I use them on everything but this this works like really well so then I was like oh if I had packs of like Christmas sentiments and just thank you sentiments and birthday sentiments and all the things like different fonts and different sizes and all the things and I could just boil them like this, this would just be fun. It's just another extra little thing. None of us need it, but I want it. <laughs> because yeah, once you run it through and you peel off the foil and you just tilt it in the light, it just, you know, life is great. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that just made my day so I fussy cut this quick and simple just went around with a little bit of a border using my scissors because like I said I wanted to pop this up so I fussy cut that first and then I took the for you sentiment from that sheet and I used my little t-square ruler I wanted to make sure I got this straight on this because yeah, I, you know, I've mentioned this before. Back in the day, I was like the queen of being able to eyeball everything, Could line things up, all my layers, all the stuff. But as I've gotten older, I've got astigmatism now in both my eyes, all that. I was like, I need all the help I can get. So I got extra T-square rulers and all the things. So I did that with the little for you sentiment. And then I don't know, my camera stopped filming or something, but same thing as everything else. I foiled that with the kind of bronzy colored foil and then I cut down a panel of another panel of white cardstock to the same size and I just took another one of the leaves and I'm just going to put this in the lower little corner because of course you guys know I gotta have something on the inside of my cards so I ran that through and did um this like bright copper color foil this one oh I love love and this one because I only ran it through once I'm not doing it multiples it kind of proved my little theory of um how running it through multiple times kind of dulls the other foils which again I'm not a pro I don't have a problem with but there just there is that little bit of difference so the one for the inside of the card is actually quite quite bright and pristine and I'm fine with that so I'll open the card and I'll be like whoa <laughs> so I have that on the inside for the outside I popped up that grateful sentiment with just thin foam squares and then I put Simon's Big Mama foam tape on the back of this panel to give it a little bit more dimension this for me this is like this really is clean and simple this card which even then I was having fun with the foiling but I was struggling I was like oh I need to have like splatter and ink blending like you know my brain I'm like fighting with myself the entire time <laughs> <laughs> so I adhered this panel to the inside of the card. So this will be a three and a half inch by eight and a half inch slimline card when all is said and done. I did add some bling. So I, I you know, this is as far as I went. You know, that's, that was just, you got, I got foiling going on. It's more than enough. You could just leave it, but I've got a lifetime supply of bling. Didn't add splatter or anything else. Kept it as clean and simple as I could because really it's the foil and the colors and the leaves and all of that. It just, it doesn't need anything else, you know, and it's hard to show on camera and it's, oh, the pictures, trying to take pictures because, you know, the reflection, you just got to take my word on it. The, the, in real life, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I had 
so much fun making this and I haven't even touched the stamp set in the kit or the stencils or anything yet. I'll have to do that in a future video. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said earlier, I will have links in the description box below the video. I'll link to the kit and to everything separately and all that, all that jazz. That'll be in the description box below for any of you that are interested. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my videos, for thumbs upping and commenting. Subscribe if you haven't. I'd very much appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.